from both parties. I just want to have fun. And we want them to have that. So they have goals. Hopefully you guys all came to camp with goals. There's a reason that you're here. And I know darn well it's not the paycheck. In fact, I don't even call it a paycheck. It's a stipend. Because it is a stipend. It's not a paycheck. Nobody is here for the money. You're here because of you have a goal. You have a reason for being here. I want you to think about what that goal is. Why did you answer the, the ad? Why did you answer the letter that was mailed to you? Why did you fill out that application and for new staff? Why did you go through the interview process? Because of, you know, there's a lot of paperwork in that involved with getting hired. So it's not just an easy process. So think about why you're here. And we have a pretty large group. So we're not going to um, have everybody share while they're here. Because we could probably be here till midnight. Um, so I'm going to ask five brave people to just kind of step forward and share why you're here at camp for this week, next week, both weeks. And then after our five, we'll wrap it up for the night. May I have five volunteers who will step forward? Physically? Okay, yeah. Jeremy? Two. Juliana's three. Two more. Anybody? I got Matt and Leslie. Okay. Nick, why don't you get us started off? All right. Should I say my name? Yes, that'd be great. Thank All right. You. I'm Nick. I've been coming to camp since I was nine. And it's just made an impact on my life that I can never really put into words or even actions. It's just made such me a better person and appreciate everything that's been done to help me get through just becoming a diabetic and not knowing I'm not the only one. And I just want to pay it forward and coming back for years to come and just like letting everyone know how much I appreciated them and just hopefully one day a camper will look up to me like I did to mine all through the years. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Jeremy. Um, I'm here because I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be for the next two weeks. Um, ever since the first week I was at camp, I knew this place was like a home to me. I knew the people around me were like a family. And it's a place where I can really be me to the fullest extent. Thank you. Matt? Uh, my name's Matt. I've uh, been diabetic for three years. I uh, coming to camp for uh, three years also, and uh, I wanted to be a CIT, wanted to be part of this extra step because uh, my first year was an amazing experience. I learned I am not alone. There are plenty of other people going through exactly what I'm going through also, and that I can live a normal life, and uh, I'd love to be a role model for someone in let them know, hey, I can be normal too. I can go out and play soccer with my friends. I don't have to stay inside and stay looking at my blood sugar constantly. Thank you. Leslie? Um, I'm Leslie. For those of you who don't know him, my dad has been coming to this camp since he was seven. He quote unquote retired my uh, senior year of high school so that I could step up and actually be a staff member without having to deal with the whole my dad being at camp thing anymore. Um, this place is home. Nowhere else I've ever lived, ever stayed, ever been has been as much a home to me as this place has been. I've met some amazing friends here, some I consider sisters and brothers. I'm that close with them. Um, I just want to help other campers and other kids have that kind of feeling and experience where, you know, this is home because this is a safe place and this is a great place to be just normal, to be considered normal because most kids don't have that. Thank you. Juliana. So I'm Juliana and this will be my second year at camp. Um, last year I came because my professors recommended it because I'm interested in the nutritional aspect of diabetes and treatment. And when I came, I was really just interested in learning about the science and learning about that. But I got 
so much more out of it in that week than I could have ever imagined. And for the past year, I've just kept my cabin photo up in my bedroom, so I see it every day. And I've been just looking forward and counting down to coming back because I learned so much about relationships and just how to live a positive life and how to be good with other people and just love. So I'm really looking forward to this year to building on the relationships that I started last year and creating new ones with just staff and campers. So, so thank you guys very much for stepping forward and sharing. Um, I wish that we had time that all of you would be able to share your goal because I know you have them. I know that, why, that you're here for a reason. And just think about that and then keep that close to you throughout the week. When you're tired, when um, you went canoeing in the morning and hiking in the afternoon and then we played all camp games and you're just exhausted and you're ready to go to sleep at 9 o'clock and the campers are not ready to go to sleep until 11, which is a normal time. Just um, use that go as your energy to keep going. And please remember that these campers are coming in with goals. And it's our job to help them reach their goals and to meet their goals of why they're here. This now concludes our first day of orientation. Each night at camp, whether it's down here at the campfire or up at the flagpole, we'll come together as a camp. This is the one time throughout the day, other than meals, and even then, you're focused on your individual cabins, we'll be together as a camp. And so we always end the night together, and we end the night with Friendship Circle. So we'll um, um, come into a circle, we will join hands, you will cross <laughs> your right hand over your left. If you do it opposite, the circle doesn't work. And we will sing taps, we'll end the night by singing taps. And then when we're done, without breaking your hands, staying in a circle, we will lift up and over, and then we are in the group at the very end, and then heading up. Now, this is usually a time for you to be quiet. It's usually a time for the campers to be reflective. Campers are all, yeah, 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 by the time that uh, they're done with the friendship circle. And we're saying, Shh, calm down, time to go to bed. And so please try to keep your campers calm and quiet after friendship circle. It's not a time to get all hyper again because of it's bedtime. So we want to keep them calm. But each night we'll end with Friendship Circle, as I said, either down here at the campfire or up at the flagpole. And if you guys can move in a little bit, and if you guys can move in, you might have to step over the bench very carefully um, so we can fill that gap in here. Nailed it. <laughs> and I am going to ask the, all the returning staff to get us started off in taps. And those who don't know the song, um, trust me, by the end of the week you will. Returning staff? Day is done.